Hi everyone, welcome to RAP4 TV. Today I'm going to demonstrate the installation of the new RAP4 Flexi Air System for the Tipman X7 Phenom. To start, you remove the three push pins for the completed trigger assembly and for the end cap. After you remove the push pins, remove the end cap first. Then remove the trigger assembly and set aside. Then pull out the pressure gauge assembly and set aside. Turn the phenom over and slide the cyclone feed system hose fitting back to the keyhole and pull the hose fitting from the phenom assembly. Working from the bottom of the phenon, slightly push the valve out of the phenom assembly far enough to see an empty hole on the valve. Next, you lubricate the new RAP4 airline that you're going to install and pull out the valve from the upper assembly so you can insert the new airline to the valve and slide back in to the assembly. A small portion of the new RAP4 airline will stick out slightly. Next, you reconnect the cyclone hose fitting by inserting and sliding back into the top of the keyhole so it is secure as shown. Then, insert the pressure gauge assembly back into the main phenom assembly until secure. The RAF4 Flexi Air System for the Tipman X7 Phenom is made from aircraft aluminum for durability and dependability for years of service. You can expect it to outlast your Tipman marker. The next step is to insert the new RAF4 Flexi Air Adapter onto the rear of the Phenom. Make sure to insert in as far as possible so no gap exists between the marker and the flexi air adapter. If fitted properly, you should be able to insert the top push pin back onto the phenom with minimal effort. The next phase of the installation requires you to disassemble the trigger assembly to remove the ASA and the airline inside the assembly. You first take the selector switch and move it counterclockwise to the 6 o'clock position as shown and pull the switch out of the hole and set aside. Next, you remove the electronic trigger and set aside. Next, you remove the four screws with a screwdriver and the two hex mounting screws on the ASA with an Allen wrench. After the ASA has been removed, you can now split apart the assembly, giving you full view of the inside. You can now remove the unneeded airline and the square ASA attachment bolts at the bottom of the assembly.
You can now close the trigger assembly back together and screw back in the four assembly screws and close the battery compartment door. You can now reinsert the trigger back into place at the top of the assembly so it is sitting in the proper position as shown. Once the trigger is in the proper position, you can now insert the selection switch back in at the 6 o'clock position. Once in place, you can place it back into the safe mode position before attaching it back onto the main Phenom body assembly. After the install, you will have some extra parts left over that you can store away for safekeeping. These include the Phenom end cap, the airline, the ASA, two hex screws, and two square bolts. The last step is to connect the complete trigger assembly back onto the Phenom body assembly and secure it into place with the two remaining push pins. The installation of the RAP4 Flexi Air System for the Tipman X7 Phenom is now complete. You're now ready to show off this awesome looking upgrade for your X7 Phenom to all your friends at your next scenario mission. With RAP4 Flexi Air System for the Tipman X7 Phenom, you can connect a remote line directly to the back of the stock and have it completely out of your way to add to the most realistic look and feel to your Tipman X7 Phenom and outgun your opponent at the same time. If you have any questions on anything you saw, you can contact us by email at info at rat4.com. Thanks for watching.